Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk through some of the items that I own which are currently on sale. Now as many of you will probably be aware right now there are so many Black Friday and Cyber Week discounts and one thing I do just want to very quickly mention is that if it's not in your budget or it's something that you don't need then just don't buy it. I think there'd be a little bit of a fear of missing out when it comes to sales and all I can say is Boxing Day sales are just around the corner so you definitely will not be missing out. Um, it's always better to kind of plan ahead. Make sure that you are not spending above your means and only buying things that you're actually going to use and enjoy. Or perhaps, I mean, this is what I tend to do with the Black Friday sales, is use it as an opportunity to really allow your dollar to stretch a little bit further when you are purchasing Christmas presents. So um, I'm going to dive right into it with a couple of things from Madewell because I saw they've got a a Black Friday sale and I saw on the preview that these items were going to be included. The first thing I want to mention which is extremely blown out, my apologies, is my Korea shirt. I bought this uh, four and a half years ago before we went to Italy for Luke's brother's wedding and it has just been such an incredible basic. I have it in the size extra small and it is definitely an oversized fit. You'll be able to see in the cutaways how it looks on me or in the photos. Uh, but yeah, I just think that it is exceptional quality. Um, it's really nice and quite a thick cotton. I mean, you can't see a nude bra through it at all or even a white bra. I think it's very handy, but I pull this out every single spring, summer. Absolutely fantastic. The other item from Madewell that I wanted to mention, which I saw was included in the sale, is this denim jacket. This is kind of like a trucker jacket and I got this earlier in the year. This was actually gifted to me from the brand um, and I like the fact that it's a longer line so it kind of has a little bit of a boyish, very urban grunge feel to it. Their denim is superb. Um, I've got a pair of jeans, the 10 inch uh, skinny crop, which I think are also on sale. So I will leave those linked down below too. Um, and I've just been so happy with it. It's a thick denim, but it's not too thick. It has stretch, uh, but yeah, I just like the fading on this. I think the detail on it is just very classic, timeless. Um, this is the kind of thing you have for a very long time. And I personally like to um, pair this with outfits where it kind of adds an unexpected element so it looks really great when paired with more feminine details. The next item I want to mention is from And Other Stories and it is this oversized ball blazer. I had been umming and eyeing over purchasing one of these for a couple of years and when they finally extended their shipping to Australia I knew that this was the year I was going to invest in one. Uh, the quality of it is just exceptional. It was far beyond anything that I had anticipated from what is essentially a high street brand. Uh, the, you know, the detailing, the lining is really lovely, nice and smooth. The texture of the wool, it's textured, but it doesn't feel too scratchy. This is very heavy weight, so a great option to kind of see you through that transitional period, especially as we come out of the other end of winter you live in a more mild climate or even if you just want a nice heavy wool blazer that you can wear underneath your coat if you live in a particularly cold climate this is a great one to go for uh, sizing on it runs very very large I sized down to a 34 and I found that that was sort of the perfect oversized fit on me the color I have is khaki and it comes off as more of a kind of mid to cool toned brown as opposed to anything that's even slightly or remotely green I think on the website it looks a little bit different I want to run through some knitwear because I've got quite a few things here which are on sale. The first one I want to mention is from J Crew, and this is one of their 100% cashmere sweaters and it's sort of a boyfriend v-neck style. I wanted this particular knit for years and years and I finally purchased it not too long ago from David Jones because they were having a promotion. Uh, so I think I got it for 25% off. The cashmere is just incredibly soft. It is like a cloud it's very fluffy um, I would say that this is up there as some of the softest cashmere that I own uh, which says a lot I mean I've got quite quite a few cashmere sweaters um, I sized up to a medium but I do not think you need to this was the only one that was on the rack so um, I loved it so much and I love the color because it's a nice warm camel I thought it would be a great option for my um, for my wardrobe and the other thing I really like about it and I have worn this actually already uh, is the fact that it doesn't cinch in at the hem either it's just straight up and down so it looks really great either tucked in but also worn loose and I think it's got a nice v-neck too because sometimes they can be a little bit unflattering on me. 
Now I don't believe this particular item is technically included in the sale but Nardum do have a lot of their cashmere pieces on sale as part of Black Friday so I thought I would just quickly mention it. This is their $75 cashmere crew. This was before they recut it for men and for women. This is the unisex version. The color I have is oatmeal. Um, this is very very soft. Um, I think out of all of my cashmere sweaters this is probably the softest one I own. It is also the lightest one that I own. However do keep in mind that cashmere is so much warmer than wool. It's two to three times warmer than wool which is all down to how the yarn is knitted together. Uh, so yeah I just think it's really brilliant. Um, I have worn this quite a lot uh, and it has held up very well. Um, I haven't even had any pilling on this one. I will say though their Lux cashmere sweater which I do have um, that one has pilled quite a bit but I just use my cashmere comb and then it's like new. I've worn both of them and they've come out of the laundry really really nice. Um, I just do a cold hand wash setting um, and I put my cashmere bits in a delicates bag and then I reshape them afterwards if necessary so kind of just um very gently tug at the fabric to make sure that it's the right length and width. Alessandra is a brand that I was introduced to while I was pregnant and it's an Australian owned brand and they just have some of the most gorgeous pieces like think very beautiful summery linen uh, staples but also very cozy knits for winter and this one I got towards the tail end of winter it is a coat again in this lovely sage green um, it's almost like a spearmint as well very pale super long um, I I love this it is so so toasty very very warm uh, and it's just a nice kind of additional layering piece. I always think outfits look a lot more interesting when they have a third piece and because this one is quite quite long it can sort of replace the need for a coat. It's a really good option for me in particular because I do live in that slightly warmer climate so um, I can get away with this instead of a full-on wool coat for winter uh, which I personally really like with a little bit of layering underneath of course um, but it also looks great with little mini skirts um, and it washes well too. Final piece of knitwear and I did just want to mention a couple of things from W Concept because they always do a good Black Friday sale. First is this knitted sweater here. This one is from a brand called Moya and you may sort of feel like this silhouette looks very familiar um, and it's because it is eerily similar to my Joseph sweater. So if you love that knit, um, this is a really good alternative and actually it's slightly more interesting because you can wear it for one, you can wear it two ways, uh, but you can see here there's actually this slit so you can wear it with the slit at the back and then you could kind of have a really pretty little camisole or a bralette or something like that underneath so every time you move uh, someone behind you might get a little glimpse of your bralette otherwise you can wear it with this flat slit detail in the front and you can tuck it into your jeans or to your trousers skirts whatever uh, and it just has this very very interesting sort of folded detail in the front uh, but yeah very nice and soft um, it's 100% wool and yeah I love the very thick ribbed uh, cuffs also the ribbed collar which kind of folds over and drapes really nicely um, so that is the first item I wanted to mention from W Concept. Um, the other one is my favorite coat which I think if I was ever in a situation where I had to replace my entire coat collection this would be the first one that I would replace um, or that I would go out and purchase because it is just so interesting it is so luxurious feeling um, I think the cut of it is beautiful um, it's very swishy and it has nice movement and it's just I think it's very flattering on the frame um, it is one size fits all uh, I'm 172 centimeters for reference if you're wondering how long it might be on you uh, but I know I've had um, some very lovely women message me who've purchased this semi photos and it works for both petite and tall uh, women so yeah I just I love the fact that the interior lining because it's a double faced wool um, is slightly darker than the exterior and there's this, this very very subtle herringbone design on the um, exterior wool big patch pocket I mean what's not to love robe style coats adore them my favorite for winter for sure but I might talk about a pair of shoes um, and you know I get quite a few messages about my Everlane day gloves and what size I would recommend which particular um, style I would recommend now I think if I was gonna say you're only gonna get one pair of ballet flats these are the Bella Flats to get. They're actually not from Everlane. These are the Oliver Cabell Dream Flats. And these are beautiful, beautiful shoes. So they're leather and they have the rubber sole. So 
really hard wearing. You can actually walk a lot in these because the rubber isn't going to wear down very easily. Um, the leather is so nice and soft. Um, it's pebbled. So it's also a lot harder wearing than a smooth leather, which I really love. And I have worn these quite a lot and there's no scuffing, no scratches, nothing. And I've scraped them against uh, branches and I've had no issues. Um, they're comfortable from the get go and they also have this cushioning around the heel as well, which is very comfortable. And I've not had a single blister with them. Uh, they're just a beautiful, beautiful ballet flat. And I also like the fact that, um, I think probably my biggest bug there with the glass and um, well the leather ones are a bit too narrow across the foot to have wide feet so that's <laughs> number one the other thing is that they have a really high vamp and I don't actually find it to be the most flattering thing my re ones are so ridiculously comfortable and I love those but I prefer a shoe that's got um, a more medium I guess a medium length uh, vamp which these definitely do have uh, these are what I would consider more of a classic ballerina style just without the little bow uh, here at the toe so gorgeous shoe um, and I believe they are currently 15% off. Then the other pair of shoes I wanted to mention are from Bowden and I believe these ones are maybe around half price at the moment. These are a raffia and suede sandal. I've got them in the navy and I actually think I'm going to buy them in the natural colour because they are very very comfortable. I just think they're an easy chic shoe. Um, I like sandals like this which don't have a strap around the front of the ankle because I do find that that can be a little bit unflattering and cut you off. Whereas if it has a strap that goes around the back of the uh, heel then I, I feel like that that's a lot more visually elongating through the leg. Uh, but yeah, I just, I love that raffia detail across the foot. I think it's really interesting. It's a little bit different and combined with the suede just has some really visually appealing uh, textural elements to it, which I love. Um, very comfortable. Didn't get any blisters uh, the first, second, third time that I've worn them. So very, very pleased with them. And I just think they are such a great little find. Bowden always just does really fabulous summer sandals. I wanted to mention one more item from Bowden just because um, I feel like this would be a beautiful option if you're currently shopping for something for your Christmas parties if you are having any um, I know many of us are currently staying at home socially distancing but if you do have an occasion where you are planning on dressing up I think this is a beautiful option uh, this is a velvet flocked midi skirt and I'm not really sure or almost maxi length skirt I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see the detail but we'll try and show you it has this it has this overlay uh, and different lengths so it's kind of got a ruffled effect to it so loads of beautiful movement when you walk around which I, I love I think it just feels a lot more dramatic and uh, the velvet is just very plush and, and feels very suitable for the festive season especially if you live in the northern hemisphere. Um, I got it in a size 6 and so it's a UK 6 and I will say it does fit a little bit big on me around the waist so I'm going to have to get mine taken in. Um, I've always had that. Um, I do find that Bowden sizing tends to be a little bit more on the generous side so a size UK 6 would fit more like a UK 8 to 10 uh, do double check the size guide but that's uh, what I found but yeah nothing a tailor cannot fix but I just thought that was such a beautiful option um, for Christmas party now I think I might talk about some jewelry actually as well because I know a lot of jewelers are currently doing some really great sales for Black Friday so first one I want to mention is Linya and I have so many of their beautiful rings I'm currently wearing one of their necklaces uh, and I've got the Ilsa ring on my finger here my favorite stack which you will have seen me wear a number of times over on my weekend outfits videos because I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's these three, three rings here. They've got a sale on at the moment and I will have a link down in the description box below. Um, I've got an edit on their website and I believe that gives you an automatic discount when you go to check out. Uh, but yeah, those are on sale. So um, the quality of their jewelry is just really beautiful. It feels very kind of weighty um, and I think you're getting great value for money there. I actually just thought I'd also mention that they have recently launched a new bag. So this is the Bola bag in the large size so this one you can pop over your shoulder and if you're a mum like I am it's a really decent size for fitting in you know nappies change of clothes a very small or compact change mat uh, you know some some wet wipes a water bottle you can kind of fit all of that in here very neatly and then tuck it under your arm which I think is super convenient 
The next jewelry brand I want to mention is one I shop from every single Black Friday because they always do a great sale and it's actually the only time that they do a sale uh, and that is a Missima and I wanted to share one of my favorite pieces from the brand which was actually one of the first items that I bought and it is the Interstellar necklace. Um, I will put a close-up on screen or a picture. Uh, I just think this is the most stunning necklace. It has got these little uh, stars which have uh, it's almost like crushed silver in it and then little um, pearlescent gems and uh, mini diamantes. I, I mean I just think this is so pretty, very delicate, uh, something nice to have on your décolleté especially if you are wearing something that is um, maybe a little bit more elegant and refined like a uh, strappy silk slip dress, something like that. Beautiful. Um, I will also leave a picture on screen and link down below the pieces of piece or pieces of jewelry that I'm planning to buy from the Black Friday sale from them this year. Um, I kind of have now started to make it a tradition where I add to my collection every single uh, Black Friday sale. Um, then of course uh, Anna Luisa have some sales at the moment. You'll know that I am an ambassador for them for the next um, I think it's another 10 months or so which is really really exciting. Uh, so I will leave my link down below which will automatically take you to their Black Friday offers. And then the final brand I wanted to mention who does a sale every single Black Friday. Uh, yeah, uh, every single year is Majuri and I would say probably my favorite piece of jewelry from the brand aside from the loop earrings that I co-designed is this very thick weighty chain. I do have to say that some of the pieces that I own from Majuri have tarnish over time and I would say it's probably because I live in a really humid climate and I don't have any of my jewelry pieces uh, boxed up. They're currently sitting, I'll do a wardrobe tour at some point so you can actually see my jewelry layout but they are just in the wardrobe so they are getting exposed to heat which can cause a bit of tarnishing but this necklace it has not happened with at all so um, I did just want to highlight that I just think it's a fantastic chain and again I will leave a link below which has my edit with all my favorite pieces in it. Now you know when it comes to my wardrobe I'm always thinking about versatility with everything that I buy and this next brand I want to quickly mention is one that takes that to the next level uh, it's a Veta or Veta capsule and what I love about every single item in their collection they they really release limited capsules every single year, maybe it's every um, twice a year, uh, is that they're all designed to be worn more than one way and I just think that's genius. So I have here this really pretty embroidered lace blouse. Um, I've got it in the black and it also comes in a white. There are embroidered lace panels down the sleeves and also down the front here with pin tuck detail. But the brilliant thing about this is not only can you wear it this way, but you can also wear it back to front with the buttons down the front, which is incredibly useful, particularly if you are nursing like I am. Uh, and you just have this beautiful lace uh, trim around the neckline, which I think very pretty. Uh, the white one I think is gorgeous for spring summer. This one's a little bit darker. Uh, I have worn this tied at the waist which I think is a really fun way to wear it, a little bit different. And it's a nice thick kind of a more of a stiff cotton um, but yeah it's a really beautiful brand. Um, they've got some fantastic basics so I will be sure to maybe link some of my other favorites from them down below as well. And then I thought I would wrap things up by sharing a, another denim pick and these are my Totem jeans. Um, I can't remember exactly what style these are. Um, it says standard in here so I think these might be the standard slim jean. They're 96% cotton, 3% polyester and 1% elastane. I will make sure that I've linked the correct ones down in the description box below. Now I have a very small confession to make about these. So I bought them in the 25. I'm going to say these jeans have barely any give. So whereas the Arquette ones I think are quite comfortable and they do kind of give and move with your body, these are stiff. I give these. These are going to suck you in and they are not really going to give much. So I would say if you were in between sizes definitely go with the larger of the two. Uh, if you tend to wear brands that are a little bit more generous in terms of their sizing, size up. I wish I got in them in the 26. Uh, I also need to get them taken up too because they are 32 inch inseam so very very long uh, but a really incredible quality denim. I can understand the hype about Totem jeans but I think it's even better if you can get them on sale uh, because there are beautiful denim brands out there like Arquette. Um, like I mean I've gotten great jeans even from ASOS so you don't need to break the bank to get some good denim but I did think it was worth mentioning these because I know I've received quite a few questions about them. Yeah, so totem jeans.
Two items I completely forgot to mention, but I wanted to add in the end here, are my All Saints Belfern leather jacket. I bought this during the Black Friday sales two years ago. So glad I did. It is currently 30% off. Super buttery leather, very high quality. Um, it does run a little bit small though, so if you want to fit a chunky knit underneath, I would recommend sizing up one. The other item is from Age. It is an Australian brand, and it's just a simple A-line denim skirt with a frayed detail at the hemline. I have been wearing this loads, and it's just such a great wardrobe essential. I've got it in the size AU8. So that's a little bit of a look into some of the items that I have which are currently on sale. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it would just be a little bit more useful to give you a mini review in case maybe you had been thinking about buying any of these items rather than sharing with you what I'm thinking about buying or what I've bought but I, I can't really give you an opinion on the quality or anything like that. So yeah I, I do hope that this was useful in some way or at least helpful. Um, I will have all of my sizing information in the description box, links to everything I mentioned as well as links to my uh, blog post where I'm sharing all of my Christmas gift guides and all of the Black Friday sales. My Black Friday sale post this year I will actually be updating on a daily basis so all of the codes and discounts everything mentioned in there will be 100% up to date. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me. I know we are all very busy at the moment especially as we come into the festive season so it means the world to me. Anyway I will see you very soon with another video. See ya! Bye!